to all Patreons and uh, channel members for uh, supporting me. Uh, I'll be releasing project files to my Patreons and uh, exclusive tutorials for uh, channel members. For details, please check link in description. Thank you. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Mr. Viz. So in previous video, uh, we stopped uh, here where uh, the drone patrols and even it senses uh, the player. Uh, we will uh, proceed with setting up the chase player now. a task here okay Put the blackboard uh, condition and uh, the condition should be drone state is equal to chase okay so when it is in chase it has to it has to execute this okay. and uh, open your uh, uh, drone ai interface uh, we need uh, one more function here so add function Chase player and on your uh, uh, drone base, add a return node. Uh, one reason I, I added return node is like uh, I don't want this to be an event, uh, I want this as a function. So, okay, on uh, chase player. Uh, create a variable chase states so we have already created an enum for this so we will get this switch on chase states so for uh, each state we will be coding separately okay. so first we will complete the chase part add a branch get the player ref get distance to so we have to check the distance uh, uh, between the player and uh, uh, create a variable attack distance so this has to be a float Set the default value as uh, thousand here. So uh, it will start chasing the player, and once its uh, uh, distance between the player uh, uh, is uh, uh, less than thousand, then uh, it will uh, start attacking the player. So if it is true, add movement input. And for the world uh, direction, uh, we have to move the uh, drone towards the player. So get the player ref and get actor location. Split this. Make vector, and since we are going to maintain the same height, uh, get the height from uh, uh, the drone itself. And then make a vector like here, or else find look at rotation. Okay. 
then from this uh, uh, yeah value get expectation from x vector again uh, break this and connect yeah here then set this set this as the world direction and again we have to rotate uh, the drone like we did before rotation and even that take from this uh, z get the actor rotation and do a loop and we just need only the yeah alpha is point 0.1 this path and uh, connect this to the new rotation and connect this to result so let's let's test this Okay. Okay. So we are not updating the uh, uh, AI state uh, variable on the blackboard, so that's the reason it's not picking it up. So to do that, uh, go to your uh, event graph and on uh, event tick. Set blackboard. We already, I think, we already have the blackboard rep. We have the blackboard component rep. Get the blackboard component rep. Set value as uh, enum. And on the key, val key value, make literal name. And there we have the variable name as uh, drone state. This one. So copy this and paste this. And the uh, enum value should be from AI state. Okay, so now let's see. it's not moving okay that that's because the other actor we have we didn't connect anything so the target has to be self and the other connect the player rep on the other character okay okay now what is the the drone is following the player if you can see So it is not going uh, in the reverse direction. So that we will uh, do it now. Add one more branch here. And uh, uh, again copy this. Now instead of create to them, put list them. And attack distance minus hundred. 
also connect this. Now we put this true. Add movement input. And now scale will you give it as minus one because it has to go in the reverse. And uh, for uh, the world direction, this the same thing. And uh, connect it to the actor rotation. Now let's see. Okay. Now it is following. And if we go towards the drone, it goes backwards. Okay, fine. So uh, there are a couple more uh, things we need to do on the chase uh, function, which we will do it in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.